Hey everyone, happy new comic book Wednesday, I hope everybody had a great day today, got all the books they were looking for, um, I got quite a few, had uh, a couple other awesome things that my shop had put aside for me, went to, uh, my shop lets me go on uh, Tuesday when they're, when they put the books out, um, and then they, I get to put my books aside, make sure I get what I want. Because uh, the majority of my stuff is, uh, you know, the books that maybe uh, they only order a couple copies of. or So I went there, you know, you guys know a couple of the David Matt covers that I've been finding. And uh, I'd asked him if they had any, and uh, he said no, but a couple hours later he gave me a call, said he had a few that he put aside for me. And, uh, man, I can't believe it. Uh, but this right here, sorry guys. Uh, this is one of my favorite uh, sketches. It's kind of it's nice. Looks like it was done kind of quick, but still a nice sketch. A lot of uh, I like the size and everything. And it was uh, I mean the best part, guys. It was forty five bucks, and it's uh, CBCS signature series graded nine point eight. Uh, uh, signed and sketched by a man say or a man K Nahulpan. And that's the same guy that does the artwork on Young Terrorists. And this right here, if I'm not mistaken, is, uh, you know, what Black Mass is going to try to do is to have uh, create their own universe. And there's going to be a handful of uh, books. I know a couple of them are uh, this, Young Terrorists. Um, if I'm not mistaken, God Killer will be in there as well. Um, so, yeah, but, uh, so he called me. And, uh, he didn't, he told me what numbers he had, but I didn't look them up because I didn't want to see, but, well, he, uh, and I left them in their, uh, packaging so you can see the price. I got a great price on them, and it's 20% off of these, but, um, well, I got another one of these, guys, Justice League number 54. This one, um, it's hard to tell. It's got a couple of things going on with it. They're not perfect, but... Uh, you could see these are the one in ten, I believe. So seven ninety nine, twenty percent off. Uh, the nicest thing is uh, with these co covers is the uh, mostly white around the border, so it hides a lot of the the stress on it. Uh, next one, so these are new ones. Uh, number fifty one, Kangorilla and Starman. I got this one for five ninety nine. Just amazing David Mack. So yeah, I hope everybody's been doing good. I've been doing okay. My uh, back is better, but still hurting me. Uh, next one I got, uh, the last one is uh, number 59. This one is awesome. $4.99 for this one. Just amazing. Yeah, my back's been getting better, but, you know, my... What's been killing me is this whole, this whole memory thing, man. I feel like I've got, you know, partial amnesia or something over the past few months, and uh, you know, going through all my books, I, I don't remember them, and you know, I even went back to, uh, what was it the first Wednesday of November? It was uh, the sixth. So I basically just, because I got my, you guys have seen my, uh, where is it? My notes, anyways, I, I had my notes that I take every week, and uh, so I went, I pulled all the books, and that's what I'm doing, I'm just going back all the way, I and mean, I'm starting over again from November, November 16th, and uh, I mean, not like I really have anything else to do, I'm just freaking sitting here, I feel like I'm going stir crazy, it's not driving things, it's just, it's, it's for the birds, I mean, yeah, I still got some income coming in, but that's... I don't, I don't know, I got an appointment on the 31st, but I still think it's going to be a year before they let me drive, or technically, I guess, let me drive. It's, uh, it's one of those, you know, if something were to happen when I was driving, it would, it would pretty much wipe the floor with me, uh, well deservedly, obviously. Um, so basically, I, you know, I talked to my shop a little bit, uh, and so... I went all the way back till till then, and uh, you know any anything that like any number one 
So I'm basically what I'm what I'm getting at is no 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 more number ones until I can get caught up. So because uh, I know, and another thing that I I had forgotten about is uh, I usually read uh, the number ones that I do get. I take the previews catalog and I go over it with you, just give you guys a little synopsis of it, and because basically the synopsis is all the only reason that or that which will turn me on to a book. <laughs> so uh, from like from here on out. All the number ones that I'm interested in, they're putting in a box for me. And I know we talked about a couple of them. Uh, the dregs. So that's going to be this right here. I guess there's a, there's a couple of covers coming out. Uh, but basically, it says, a, gentri a gentrified city, its homeless population restricted to six square blocks called the dregs. When people start disappearing, a drug-addled homeless man obsessed with detective fiction becomes addicted to solving the mystery. Equal parts, Raymond Chandler and Don Quixote. I know the second name, but not the first one. Uh, set in a thriving metropolis that literally cannibalizes the homeless. The Dregs is the first homeless meta-noir ever made. So that one's going in the box. And then the other one is um, Lady Castle. And uh, it was because of the second name that Ashley Wood that I'm getting it. I, I love his art. Um, but this was cool too. It's Delilah S. Dawson is the writer. And uh, some of her claims are uh, Star Wars. She's a novelist. This is her first comic. Uh, Star Wars, the perfect weapon, as wicked as she wants, and Wake of Vultures. So this is her first one. So uh, I'm pretty excited about this. Let's see, when the king, let's see, when King Mancastle and his mighty vassals ride off on crusade, the women left behind are not at all put out. That's a lot less, that's a lot less armor polishing for them to do. Of course, when the men get themselves eaten by a dragon and leave a curse that attracts monsters to the castle, well, the women take umbrage with that. Now the blacksmith's wife, Marie, Marinor, is king. Princess Avi, boy, these names are tough, is the captain and the only remaining, at least capable knight, Sir Riddick, is tasked with teaching the ladies of the castle how to fight, defend, build, and do all manner of noisy things that men had been doing while the women assumed they were just drunk. So that seems fun. Those were the only two that I got for this week, though. Um, <coughs> well, and I, you know, I I say that, but the first one I'm showing, I got this one shot, so that's pretty much the only. That'll be the only way. But uh, from what I hear, this uh, might get turned into an ongoing or maybe another short series or something. Um, but the other thing I do is. Uh, I got a series that's ending, or at least it's rumored to be ending. Now, this one I do remember quite a bit. This is definitely, uh, this is my, would be my uh, probably comedy book of the year. It, right up there with The Fix. It's just, it's so funny. I went back and flipped through, uh, flipped through some of them, and uh, you guys are definitely Devil's Due, uh, Public Relations, number 13. Uh, I think that's going to be it for it. Just, just a super funny book. Um, the other one, oh, I do have one more that's ending. This is, uh, Warlords of Appalachia, number four. Can't tell you much about it. I've got, uh, I think it was two issues that I'm just going to start at issue two with this and go forward with that. Um, oof, boy, we're already at nine minutes. Red Dog, number two. This one may have came out a couple of weeks ago, but I didn't. It got damaged or something. Um, I got two covers of The Untamed. This is Niobe. This is another um, Ashley Wood uh, works on this book. Sorry. This is the second cover. That, that's a nice cover too, though. I like that. Really pretty. Got that 10 minutes coming up. Oh, who does this one though? Yeah, 
Next one is the circle. This is a really cool, real interesting uh, art style. It's kind of weird at first, but I'm really, I'm really digging it. This is issue two of the circle from uh, Action Lab Danger Zone. Uh, I've been enjoying quite a few of those books. Uh, this is another big one. I went back and already read the first issue. No Angel number two. Excited to see where that goes. I know a lot of people are picking this up. And this really technically is more like a zero issue. This is going to tell us uh, how everything started pretty much. Uh, Marguerite Bennett, she's uh, been killing it with a couple titles. Uh, I think the other one I was in, oh, Insects. That's the other one I'm enjoying. Uh, but I, I mean, yeah, like I said, technically that's a zero issue. Uh, number six is coming out next month. Uh, glad to see this one. My shop puts out a, uh, you know, every month they got their list of all the books they're getting. This is uh, Hillbilly. Let's see. The Midnight Devil Mint of Taley Poe. And, uh, you know, on their list, there already should be up to like eight or nine on this. But this is issue five. Hopefully we can uh, get rolling a little bit. Uh, next one. I have to go back and read the first issue. But this is Uber Invasion, uh, Invasion from Avatar. This had a first volume, uh, like a first run with like 28 issues or something like that. A lot of really awesome covers. I think what I'm going to try to do is get some, uh, they got some nice hard covers. And you can find all their stuff uh, at Comics Cavalcade. I know we were waiting a while for this. Skyborn number three. Frank Cho's number three out of six. I love his artwork. Another one that I uh, know I've been enjoying. This is Frostbite, Joshua Williamson. Great story, great artwork. Uh, this is another one that I, I'll have to go back on, but I'm, I'm liking all the, uh, especially these Divinity uh, number three. And the cardstock, I would say this is uh, the best cardstock in the game right now from these Divinity books. Let's see. Oh, I do need to hurry though, guys. Sorry. I just want to be careful. Alright, that's fine. So, uh, Dark Horse, Aliens, Defiance. This has been fantastic. I remember a good deal of this. Another one that's been really great. Slow Burn, but I love the Slow Burns. And uh, Tula Lote is one of my favorite artists. I love her. She's just awesome. Uh, this one I got to go back on, Dead Inside. Can't really tell you much. John Arcudi, everybody knows that name, or that's a big name. Uh, this right here I know is one of my favorites, Department H. Um, this will be, um, and that's another thing that I've been trying to do, getting ready for uh, Contenders Contest. That's definitely going to be in there, but I'm waiting on a, uh, I just got a variant a new variant cover for number one. And uh, I think this is going to be on there too. A little preview. Uh, Tyler Crook back on artwork. But even though, uh, even uh, Carla Speed McNeil who's been on it, is okay. I'm okay with her. Alright, so we're going to just hurry through these last couple. Surgeon X. Uh, we got to send some good thoughts. The uh, artist passed away unexpectedly and young, I think. Uh, number five. Got to get caught up on that. This is another one that I got caught up on, Reborn. I remember a good deal of the first issue. Uh, this is one of my favorites. This has got a couple more issues left. Um, Tim Seeley, Mike Norton has been on it the whole time, and uh, Jenny Frizen doing all the, all the covers. This is another fantastic book. Brian K. Vaughn, Fiona Staple. Absolutely amazing, this book. And that's it, guys. Those are the books that I got. Um, like I said, I'm going to be leaving some books at the shop. But, uh, yeah, I hope everybody had a great day, got everything they wanted. And peace, love, and comics. God bless.